Hi and welcome to today's video. I am Caro and even though this month I didn't get to make one of the cheat chats, this video here is a video full of heartfelt things that have been nourishing me and heartfelt thoughts. And on today's video, I am sharing with you a little bit less art, even though there is some painting involved but I'm sharing with you more of the things that I've been doing that have been nourishing me, that have been making my cup feel filled up. I have been paying attention to the small things that sometimes I take for granted that are really amazing things in my life to be thankful for. And I just wanted to make this video to see if maybe you also get a little inspired to see what are those things that sometimes you and I take for granted but they are filling our cup and really making our life even though I hate saying this because it's such a cliche word but they are making our life feel blessed and be blessed I know that a lot of us have experienced a lot of changes within the last year and a lot of us are far away from our families, maybe in a different country, like my partner and I. Um, and also a lot of us have lost or have had someone very close to our hearts pass through. And these are just things that I believe sometimes we take for granted. And for the past few months, I've just been feeling in gratitude for having my two parents alive and having them healthy and being able to, even though being far away, be able to communicate with them through the internet. And, you know, I grew up being very shy and I feel this last year has really been a beautiful way to push myself to be the one to reach out to my friends or reach out to my parents or reach out to my sister and be like hey let's hang out virtually and of course sometimes i've been stuck in the idea like this sucks i'd rather just be with them and hug them and touch each other and all the good things but i've also been focusing on you know what we have the internet this is what we have right now and we can make the best of it so I can just go on a ramble. I just wanted to say that on today's video, I'm sharing with you a little bit of those things that I've been doing to keep me focused on, on the vast um, group of things that I am grateful for. Um, some of the things that I've been doing with my mom and my sister. And I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Ana Luisa is a Brooklyn-based sustainably made jewelry company. I'll share more about them later and I will stop talking now so you can actually see the video, but I hope you enjoy. I've been paying close attention to the changes, the movement in my body, in my house, in my surroundings. I feel that moving is always bringing the changes. It's making us able to dance within the duality that life brings us. Honestly, some mornings I wake up and I feel off, but stepping into my mat and moving really starts my day in the right way. I have talked about this before, which is that the magic of adorning myself is something that I have been exploring lately. From the clothes I choose to wear, to doing my hair, some days using makeup and adding some nice jewelry. When I adorn myself, I find another reason to like and love my body, my vessel, just as it is, and not only from the inner world, from my spiritual work, but also from taking care of my physical body. I want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, which is Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a sustainably made jewelry company here in New York. 
They use recycled gold, make their pieces in small batches. They have fair prices and are 100% carbon neutral. Ana Luisa is a beautiful gift for yourself or the mother figure in your life and they are doing a beautiful Mother Day sale right now. Today I am wearing some of their beautiful pieces including three rings by Ana Luisa. They have a mother of pearl, a lapis lazuli and a recycled gold ring as well as their cuidado hoops made with recycled gold. Make sure to check out the first link on the video's description if you want to learn more about Ana Luisa and their compromise to Mama Earth. I am small, I am Latin, I am a woman, and each day I am more in love with all of those things and much more. Making time to drink a cup of cacao and connect to the spirit of the plants and the spirit of the fungi in the morning is also something that literally makes my cup feel filled. It reminds me of what I am grateful for. Every morning I make a new blessing, giving gratitude to the elements, to my ancestors, to the protectors of this world. To everyone inspiring us around the world. And this drum is something that I'll share with you later in this video, but I really wanted to show you here how this drum is becoming such a beautiful part of my morning ritual, little by little helping me activate my voice. After this morning routine, I am ready to start my work day, but not today. Today is not a day about work. Today I decided to just paint for the sakes of painting. So I'll just be painting in my sketchbook with no reason, not for monetizing, not for selling, just, just to play because I feel that is such a big and important part of my painting process and my human process. And I was recently talking to my mom, me, my sister and my mom have started doing these video calls more often. Um, they are both in Peru. My sister is in Tarapoto in the jungle. My mom is in the beach in Lima in the coast. And we haven't seen each other in over a year. So we've been doing these calls and I send them both postcards for the new year and my mom keeps telling me very often how much she appreciated that surprise so i'm now sending her a postcard for mother's day i know she will really appreciate that so i'll be working on that as well just to have fun and remember why painting is is so beautiful as well as writing and letters and love If you have been in this channel for a little while, you know how much I believe creativity plays an important role in helping us feel empowered and relearn how to speak other languages besides the spoken word. It is also interesting how making a living from painting can become a trap if we are only creating and only painting to monetize rather than finding pockets of creation for the sakes of creating. Curiosity plays such an important role in helping us stay inspired and feel free. And remember why I love painting in the first place.
and today I took a little time to write my mom a postcard. I know how much she loves receiving letters from me in the mail and I also know that sending a letter to Peru usually takes over a month so I am sending this now in hopes she gets it around Mother's Day which I know is very important for her and I honor that. I have been doing a diet to heal my gut and I will share more about that in another video but cooking, nourishing dishes is becoming healing for me. And as I've shared with you before, I am currently making my online course Rituales para Crear and I am taking all the other teachers' classes. And I was recently watching Koa's class and she talks about the magic of making altars and she really inspired me to step up my altar game at home. So I bought a few flowers for the altar. We give things that we love, not the spares to the altars. So I bought fresh flowers for the altars and this really inspired me to cleanse my house deeply. Clean energy coming from the inner, the spiritual, non-seen, as well as literally cleaning the house today. I've been making some altars, some for me and Evil's families, some for my plant and fungi allies, and some for myself. For years, I've been very focused on spirituality being something that I live inside, and I have had a rejection for spiritual things because I feel very confused by that idea but making altars is showing me how they can be a bridge in between the physical and spiritual worlds, especially when we don't seek to buy crazy expensive things, but we make it more about the love behind it with some plant friends, some flowers, some photographs, and that's it. We don't need to spend crazy amounts of money to connect with ourselves and the universe. Taking the time to cook is always such a beautiful reminder that I can take my time to cook and take my time to eat and that I am not a work machine and this is something that I am just starting to learn. I am also a human. I eat, I rest, I sleep, I procrastinate and I want to do other things besides work. I want to show you how our bedroom is looking and what I've been doing tonight. 
we don't have a door but we have this beautiful bamboo curtain and and we have this very big wide open space which we haven't filled yet because furniture is expensive um, right now I finished doing a awakening ceremony for my new drum I got these from Mia Mia Luz she birthed this drum for me and I had a small awakening ceremony to have her be played by the first time to have her heartbeat beat at the same rhythm as mine to let, to let her know where I come from who am I Mia follows the Ojibwe drum lineage I hope I said that correctly um, and I'm super excited for playing my drum this is something that I've been dreaming for for the longest time and on the Ojibwe drum lineage there is a beautiful drum awakening ceremony and I did that earlier today I didn't film any of that because I really wanted it to be just me and my drum getting to know each other but I already feel her energy and she is so sweet and so gentle and you know I rubbed her in every corner with shea butter with some tobacco and also with some plants that are very dear to me. I rubbed her with coca leaves, which are a sacred plant for us in Peru, as well as with some blue lotus. As you may know, blue lotus is one of my favorite plant allies. And uh, I cut her umbilical cord and also just gave the umbilical cord and the tobacco to the earth as an offering. And I grew up believing that I was the worst singer that I had ever heard. And it's still very activating or triggering to say that nowadays because I feel that I was just creating that reality by saying that all the time. But within the last year, I've started to sing. I remember the first time that I sang in public, it was in one of our virtual cacao circles and this was in March last year and my whole body was just like shaking because I I still had this belief but within the last year I've been singing pretty much every day and this has become part of my morning ritual I have a rattle and I've been singing with my rattle and I am just falling in love deeper with my voice as a tool, as an ally, as another beautiful carrier of our hearts and our love. And three years ago when I went to my first Spirit Weavers gathering, I remember just hearing all these beautiful voices from different women from around the world singing medicine songs and I couldn't stop crying and now whenever I sing medicine songs and I'm able to activate my voice I still cry because I'm still understanding that I am also another beautiful woman from the world that is able to sing and carry medicine songs with her so it is so wonderful how each different thing can really become a healing uh, tool and it can become another way for us to get to know ourselves and the voice and the music is something very new to me I am not believing that I will become the best singer or the best musician in the world that is not what I'm doing this this is more about healing my own relationship with my voice and with the instruments and with the medicine music which is so so beautiful so that's a little bit about what I've been thinking about tonight I will be making some tea and reading a little and then I'll go to bed. Good morning, it is Saturday and on Saturdays I've been dancing. I've been doing this amazing intuitive movement class with Lara Webb through my friend Frankie's platform called Alma Escuela. And I've been sharing with a lot of people how much I've been loving these classes. It's been a while since I 
since I've moved this way um, before taking Lara's classes. And I've shared about this with my mom and my sister a lot. So they will be joining me for today's class. And I'm super excited um, to have these pockets in the ones we can all share online. And my mom loves dancing. My sister does as well. So it's going to be beautiful to dance with them today. So I've been sharing my drum journey with my sister. She also plays the drum. She's played it and has one and has had one for years, maybe like 10 years or more. And we've played the drum and sing together before, drinking cacao and doing yoga when we visit each other. And I've been sharing with her. She was the first one that I sent pictures of my drum and I shared with her a little bit of my drum awakening ceremony and she sent me this video of her playing the drum and in this video she shares with me a song in the one we ask our drums to please help us awaken our voices and help us make our voices reach whoever it needs to reach, wherever it needs to reach it. And since I got my my drum, I've been playing with her, with this audio that she sent me every morning, singing um, and playing to this song, asking our drums to help us make our voices reach whoever our whoever, wherever they need to reach. And I'm going to share with you a little of that. I'll see if I'll put the audio or not. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I don't feel ready to share my drum and my voice openly yet. And I want to honor that. I feel this is just such a new thing in my life that I want to keep it for me for now. And I also know that I am keeping it because I feel shy. But what I really want to share here is how important it is to always learn something new and always find new outlets without words, with new art, new instruments, new songs, new paintings, new movements. And if you take anything from this video, I would love it to be that nourishment comes from always learning, always staying curious, from living in gratitude and keeping on living inspired. If we fill our own cup, we will be able to fill other people's cups. If I take care of myself, I can inspire you to take care of yourself. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video and if you feel called to check out their jewelry, remember they are giving you 15% off with the code CAROAREVALOMD and you can find more information on the video's description and thank you for sticking all the way till the end. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and starting next week to my Patreon as well. Wishing you a beautiful rest of your day. Bye!